Hey YouTube, um, so this is day five of my recovery. Um, I feel kind of weird today, I feel like oddly energized. I haven't taken any pain pills today. <clears throat> That's not to say that I'm not in pain, I just haven't felt like taking any. Um, I woke up pretty early today and like I, my neck hurts really bad from like s this sleeping, sitting up, because like it'll often fall like that. Oh, ow. Um, so yeah, my neck is really sore. Um, I noticed that I was starting to, like, break out from not really, like, bathing very much. And, uh, so I washed my hair today. Um, also, I, uh, I forgot to take, um, milk of magnesia the night before last night. So last night I took, because I s still wasn't pooping. <laughs> Um, and so last night, instead of taking two tablespoons, I took four, which is the maximum dosage on the bottle, and, <laughs> and it works. <laughs> um, I definitely took, like, the biggest poop I've ever taken in my whole life. Um, like, pooping when, like, your chest is kind of, like, in pieces is really weird. Um, it's kind of painful, actually. Uh, so my suggestion is that, like, don't force it. Just like let it happen or whatever. Um, even if you're, even if it means you're in there forever, because like I'm still having a hard time peeing, and so like it takes me a couple minutes just to be able to like pee, <laughs> uh, let alone poo. And so, um, I mean, I don't I don't feel like nauseated or anything like that. Uh, it, and it wasn't like painful. It was just really eerie. I could feel like the pressure like shooting through the right side of my chest and what feels like it was like the incision um so that was really weird um but yeah now I feel like lighter <laughs> and like oddly energized but I also feel like lightheaded and kind of out of it and spacey and stuff still um like my brain is still a little bit cloudy uh so yeah in terms of like emotions I was I started to feel, like, kind of depressed and, like, isolated last night again. Um, and so I posted on my blog asking for, like, support, um, which I'm surprised I did that because I usually don't ask for help at all. Uh, but it was really nice. I got some really nice messages. Um, and I want, I want you to know that I read all of them, and I appreciate all of them. Um... I just, I just don't know if I should, like, respond to them individually or if I should just, like, keep them. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, no, I definitely appreciate them. Um, I feel, like, kind of woozy right now. Uh, so, yeah, I, like, not much has changed except for, like, when I woke up this morning, I felt, like, I'll, I'll often wake up and then go back to bed, and so I woke up really early this morning and I went back to went back to bed and I felt this like weird wooziness, I don't know, and like I felt like the middle of my chest was sinking in, into my stomach, um, and that was weird and eerie and it didn't hurt. It just felt like it was being like pushed in, and then like, and now I'll get these like weird tingly feelings along the bottom. Um, just like going up and like that. Um, also, uh, I noticed that the drains are like the liquid in the drains are not not all incisions are healing equally. I guess um, from my understanding, the clearer the liquid in the drain means the the more the blood is clotting uh, in the wound, um, uh, which is a good thing because it means it's healing. Um, so that means this is like serous fluid or serous fluid. I don't know how to say it. Um, but yeah, so my left grenade is way more um, uh, transparent than my right one. I'll, I should probably put a trigger warning for blood on this, but yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of getting used to them being there. I'm kind And I'm also kind of getting used to like the incessant bear hug feeling um it's kind of annoying though still uh my back and my neck hurt and my armpits are like irritated because the adhesive is like on my armpit 
which by the way, um, Dr. Garamoni advised that I shave before surgery, and I did. Um, and I'm really glad I did. I advise that you do the same. Um, but yeah, it's still like really itchy up here, like in like that's where I get the itchiest. But then like last night and today, I've been getting like itchy underneath the actual bandage, and I get itchy like on my back. Um, but I can actually, like, I can go underneath the bandage and scratch there, just not too far, um, so I don't irritate anything. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all I have right now. Um, I, emotionally, I feel really good today. I feel oddly energized, um, um, but I'm still, like, in pain, and I'm still, like, really tired. I went outside to read for a little bit, and that was really exhausting, although the sun felt really nice. Um, but, yeah, um, I've been thinking about, like, top surgery and how that's complicated as a non-binary person, um, and, like, the scariness of, like, the permanence of it. Uh, maybe I'll make a video or, like, write a post about that, um, but, yeah, I feel good, uh, and if you have any questions or if there's anything that you want me to, like, like, pay attention to, uh, just let me know.